Hello everyone, my name is Giovanna and today I'm bringing you five delicious, healthy, affordable breakfasts that will help you lose weight this 2020. The best part about these breakfasts is that you can prep them beforehand and have them ready in the fridge to go every single morning. That way you don't have to think every single morning like, what am I gonna eat for breakfast? And you just grab it and go. If you like these types of videos where I show you meal prep recipes, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe below and turn on the notification bell so that you can be notified of all of my new videos. So a myth that a lot of people have is that eating healthy is expensive and it really doesn't have to be that way at all. One of the best tips that I can give you to eat affordable, healthy is buying locally and buying within season. So eating foods that are, are in season are going to be the cheapest and the most nutrient dense. Another myth that people have is that if they want to lose weight, they have to go on a starvation diet and not eat anything in order to lose weight. And that is also a myth. It's about eating smart. It's about fueling your body with nutritious, wholesome foods, preparing food at home and satiating yourself so that you don't get those cravings to eat junk food or processed food or those foods that you know you want to avoid in order to lose weight. So let's start with the recipes. The first recipe is a classic overnight oats. This is one of my favorite breakfasts because it's super easy to make. It only takes a few ingredients. It's very affordable. It's healthy, delicious, and it honestly makes me so happy when I eat it in the morning and just dip my spoon in it. It's absolutely the best. So for this recipe, what you need is half to one apple, depending on the size of your apple, chopped into small pieces. You're gonna get a mason jar like this one. So you're gonna add your apple, half a cup of raw oats, two tablespoons of chia seeds, and chia seeds are a great source of omega-3 fatty acids, one cup of almond milk or milk of your choice. You can also sub for coconut milk, a little dash of cinnamon and one tablespoon of maple syrup to sweeten it up. You put all of these ingredients in a mason jar, mix it up really well, and just like that, you have a delicious overnight oats. You're gonna notice that the size of your chia is gonna get bigger because it's gonna absorb the almond milk, and that is a great thing because chia seeds are super hydrating to your body. Anything that has a gel-like form is gonna be extremely hydrating. And if you're trying to lose weight, it's very important to stay hydrated, not just with drinking water, but also with the foods that you eat. Next recipe is a Mexican breakfast bowl. So another myth that people have when trying to lose weight is that they have to cut out carbs completely. Now, every single body is different. Some people are gonna be more sensitive to carbs than others. So you just kind of have to see for yourself. But it's really not about eating carbs or not eating carbs. It's about the quality of carbs that you eat. So for this recipe, you are gonna have a bit more carbs, but they're gonna be wholesome carbs. Another great thing about carbs is that they will keep you full for longer, and this will help you to not get cravings for unhealthy food. You're gonna need half a cup of white rice, half a cup of black beans, one fourth cup of pico de gallo, which is basically tomato, onion, cilantro, lime, and jalapeno pepper, and salt and pepper with lime. One to two boiled eggs, depending on how hungry you are. One fourth of avocado. You put all these ingredients in a Tupperware like this, and just like that, you have a delicious Mexican breakfast bowl. Now, doesn't this look so good? I also added a little bit of red onion just because I love red onion. Another great thing about all of these breakfasts is that you can store them in the freezer and then take them out, defrost them, warm them up in the oven or in a toaster oven, and voila, you have a warm, delicious breakfast. 
One of the greatest things that you can do to lose weight is add more greens and veggies into your diet. I know it can be hard to eat like a big salad, so a great way to add more greens into your diet is by putting them in a smoothie, by blending them up. For me, nothing compares to a yummy green refreshing smoothie. There are so many ways that you can make variations to it, and this one is one of my favorites. So for this recipe, you need half a cucumber, and cucumber seeds, as you can see, have a gel-like form, which is very, very hydrating to your body, which is what we want, because when you hydrate your body, that helps you to eliminate excess liquids that you're holding onto. One whole pear, because pears are in season right now where I'm at, but you can choose whatever other fruit that you want. I recommend apple or orange or pineapple. Papaya is really good too. One cup of mixed greens or spinach, one banana, and that's another myth that people have. People think that if they're trying to lose weight, they can eat bananas. Bananas are great because they satiate you, and this is a small banana. Fruit is full of vitamins, micronutrients, and antioxidants, which will also help boost your immune system. And a juice of half a lemon. This will help keep your fruit longer, and it will also give a great taste to your smoothie. You put all these ingredients in the mason jar and store it in the fridge. And when you wake up in the morning, just put it in the blender, add some water or almond milk or coconut water, and voila, you have a delicious smoothie to go. Next recipe is a delicious breakfast burrito. For this burrito, I'm using a multi-grain tortilla. The brand is La Tortilla Factory, and I bought it at Mother's Market here in Costa Mesa. I really liked it, so I went through a lot of these when I was there, and I chose this one because it had the least amount of ingredients, and it's also made with olive oil as opposed to canola oil, which many of them are. So just a tip to look in the back at the ingredients section and preferably choose one that doesn't have canola oil, that has another type of oil or no oil at all because that's just gonna be better for your health. In a pan, heat up a little bit of ghee or butter or avocado oil, whatever it is that you want. Crack two eggs and softly flip them over to make a scrambled egg. I added a little bit of salt. And once that is cooked, you get your tortilla, you add some spinach or mixed greens, scrambled egg, fresh tomato, green onion or red onion or both, whatever you like, a little bit of serrano pepper, and finally, mustard, because I'm a fan of mustard. I know that the combination is a little strange, but believe me, it tastes really good. You put all these ingredients on the tortilla, then wrap it up into a burrito, and just like that, you have a quick, delicious, easy, and healthy breakfast burrito. Mmm, smells so good. So I wrap my burrito in one of these uh, little What's it called? It's a food wrap that's made from beeswax, tree resin, and Jehova oil. I love them because they're plastic free, reusable, rewashable, sustainable, and biodegradable. I got them on Amazon and I'll leave you the link below to the ones that I got. Final recipe is a delicious egg avocado sandwich. Another myth that people have is that if they're trying to lose weight, they can't eat bread. And that is a myth as well because you can eat bread. It's about what bread you eat. This is the bread that I'm using. It's a sourdough bread that I bought at the farmer's market. It only has four ingredients, wheat flour, sour starter, water, and salt. That is it. It actually doesn't even last very long in the fridge because it's that fresh. And this type of bread, fresh bread with minimal ingredients is gonna be the best for your health because it's not over processed, your body will digest it better and it won't make you retain liquids. A lot of the bread out there has excess sodium and that doesn't really help you in your weight loss goals. For our egg salad, you're gonna need two boiled eggs, one fourth avocado, and with a fork, you wanna mash both of them and mix them all together. Add a little bit of salt, pepper, serrano pepper, some green onion, mix it all up really well. Now you take a slice of bread, you add some greens, then some egg salad. 
a little bit more greens, and if you want some mustard, because I am a fan of mustard, like I told you guys, <laughs> put the other slice of bread on top, and just like that, you have a yummy egg sandwich. Oh my gosh, this is seriously so good. The egg, I love the combination of avocado and egg. It's absolutely delicious. And I'm gonna wrap my sandwich in one of these food wraps as well and have it prepped for the week. So that's a wrap for this video. Five delicious, affordable, healthy, delicious breakfast recipes. I wanna know what your favorite is out of all of these five. Let me know in the comments below. If I had to choose one, I think I would choose the breakfast burrito. Yes, I would choose the breakfast burrito just because of the texture and the savoriness of it. But honestly, they all taste really, really good. I'll leave you guys all of the recipes in the description of this video, and you can also find them on my blog at yovanamendoza.com. I send you a big hug, lots of love and light, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.